What's going on guys, Grim Cracker Gaming here, back with another video, and, and back with another series, series I should say, I should say, oh, excuse me, I should say, sorry about that, I just drank some water, I kind of a little burpy now, um, yeah, pretty much a new series at this point, and uh, at this point, uh, the, uh, Modern Warfare 2 series should be done, and I'm still kind of trying, uh, to get through uh, Shadow of the Colossus as well, but this is a series I kind of wanted to try do try doing for a while. And I seen this on PlayStation Store and I decided to get it. It's actually a game from this year, actually. So, and it's kind of a little bit like horror, like it's called Tokyo Remember Tokyo Dark Remembrance. Um, I haven't heard of anything on this. I just know that you're a detective. I guess in this and a female detective at that point we got we got my wife with her on screen <laughs> and um <laughs> so you're basically a detective I guess and um there's some this is pretty much a choice based game so some of the stuff you do is gonna be very uh, choice based so I'm probably gonna go through it one time and then see what I get and I'll try to make changes to any endings I get. I don't know how long this game is but hey, um, it's Tokyo Dark and in a dark gauge like this we're all quarantined uh, looking, looking at nothing but 2D waifus. So joke's on you normies, all the weebs are winning at this point. That deserves a victory royale right there. <laughs> but anyways, guys, let's get into it. <sighs> New game. Uh, clean your actions carefully. The decisions you will make, you'll change the world around you and your story untold. That thing in the middle is creepy. Holy shit, I don't say it makes every decision final. There's no going back. Wait, wait. There is no going back. Consider your actions carefully, or the decisions you make will change the world around you and how your story unfolds. Oh, dear God. One second. Alright, well, fuck it. It's 2020. Frankly, everyone's indoors, so let's get sh scared shitless. So, what the hell is my tear stuck on? Hey. Holy shit, that's loud. <clears throat> oh, God, what? Oh. Oh, hello. We're already right into it. Uh. Uh, look. What is it? Huh? From the gr grimy fabric of the, of, the tr of the train seat, I recognize the, the a familiar face. What the fuck? Pick up? Kazuki. Detective Ito? Detective Ito, what's your badge doing in a place like this? Where are you? Uh, it's got blood on it. Hey. It, Ito, where are you? I've been trying to reach you for 20 minutes. I guess this means you've heard about his phone. Yeah, Saki told, yeah, Saki told me. I'm on the way uh, to uh, Shinjuki now. Um, I couldn't wait for the uniforms and miss another chance. I sure went to the right first. Shoot. We've narrowed we narrowed down the GPS signals to the back to the back alley in the east part of town. You're the only detective I trust that's near it. I uh, that said, I'd be an I'd be an idiot not to send in a team behind you. Luckily for us, it doesn't look like it, it's moved in the last few minutes. What's your ETA? 
I should be I should be a little there in about ten minutes. How long until your team arrives? At this rate, they're about twenty minutes behind you. We have no idea what you're walking into. So here's so no Alex. Find the phone, discover what you can about the, how we got there, and then report straight back to HQ. Understood? Yes, sir. <laughs> I know this one's been especially tough on you, for you. Here's er, he's your partner, and I understand that you want to be the one who to bring him home. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, not the best at reading. That's all I can say. But well, are you going to be okay bringing being back in the field? I know it's been a while since the uh, incident, so you can't blame me for being a little hesitant. Remember to keep an eye on your spin attributes from time to time by pressing, uh, I want to say this in the middle thing? I'm talking, I'm taking a big risk by trusting you with the Seatle. We can't have another repeat of Kamakura. I'm fine, sir. I, I have everything under control. Hopefully. I'll report, I'll report it once I find the, find the phone. Behind the pleasant trees in the, in the plainest day that Yuki Murray still doesn't trust me to be on the my phone, be on my own. Damn it, oh, burbs are coming again. The day Kazuki went missing, uniforms completely ruined with the crime scene. And there's no way I'll let that happen again. Hold on, Kazuki. Or Kazuki. I'll be the scene. Alright, what do we got? Oh! Hello. Five days ago, my partner, Detective Kazuki Tanaki, vanished after leaving the police HQ. He uh, went to uh, go to a bar to find some nice uh, titties to find. Uh, there, there was no sign of him, and we had no le leads from one of the most uh, popular s cities on Earth. He simply disappeared, just straight off disappeared. He, like nobody knows where he went. Well, all that's obvious. So, <laughs> oh, shut up! No, oh, can't really. <clears throat> that is until an hour ago, when his phone was mysteriously switched on. Just, just like that. Even for just a quick message saying that uh, you, we've forgotten to pay your phone bill, sir. Um, tracing it lead me, led me here. This to this grimy, uh, grimy road on the east side of Shinjuki. Nothing good ever happens in this part of town. I can tell. Let's just walk over. Oh, we can't walk. Okay. Um. Take a look. Uh, look. In my opinion, the smaller and chicken skewer place is better. Is the better? At least uh, that's what I used to tell Kazuki. Aww. <coughs> oh. Okay. Um. Oh, I want to read the sign. Okay, that also does stuff in it. Oh, hello. Oh. Playing manual, main menu. Okay. Hmm. So, okay, I guess my thing is Um. Let's look around first. The small bar doesn't seem to have a lot of customers, but there's a lot of good view of the street from the store storefront. Maybe a good place where our murder took place! Doesn't look like a 
81s have been home for a while, but I wonder who would want to live on a street like this anyway. Um, probably the poor and probably drug dealers and probably people who um, can't really afford stuff but um, like to live in the hood areas. <coughs> you know, the usual. Whatever was drawn here, someone tried scribbling it off, but it gave up a halfway. Keypad? For such a grimy looking door, it sure is a facing lock without a code. There's no way I'm getting in. Okay, let's keep looking around a little. A small all wooden emblem on this door is so worn I can make make out I can't make it out. It makes you wonder what kinds of stores used to be in the, here before they were can cannibalized by bars. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I thought I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Hold on a second. Um. <clears throat> it's some sort of warehouse in, or storage building. No clue what type of company it belongs to, but the dumpsters are definitely he theirs. Blood? No, only fresh pa red paint. The whole the whole thing reminds me of uh, uh, Kamakura Kam Kam and that girl. But there's no time to dwell on the past tonight. I have to work. I have work to do. <laughs> I thought your face looked a little different for a second. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the first place there and then go into that. Enter. Close. Not like I have time for chicken tonight anyway. Oh. Okay, we couldn't even go in there if we wanted to anyway. Oh, where are we going this? Oh, hello. I'm Detective Ito of the Tokyo Metropolitan Police. I'd like to talk. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Hmm. Could smell a cop on you for the minute you step through the door. Yeah, sure. Ask anyway. Ask away. But make it quick. It usually starts getting busy around now. Um. Tanaka, attitude towards police. Strange clock. Um. Ask anything. H have you seen this man here w within the last day or two? Who is he? Some boyfriend of yours? He's a cop and he's missing. Have you seen him or not? A <laughs> lot, a lot of cops pass through here, but that one I haven't seen. Listen, I've got paying customers and not a lot of free time, so you can eat, either order a drink or you can go. This hot hostess seems pretty cagey. She might open up after a drink, but then again, maybe not. I need to be careful here. I'm gonna refuse for now. I don't drink while I'm working. Funny, I don't work without drinking so drinking. Sorry detective, I can't help you. I did I couldn't see what achievement I just got. Um Can't you see I'm busy? Yeah, I didn't even want to talk to you. There we go. Evening, sir. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ugh. No, thank you. What the hell? Oh, you get at me all. And you, what are you supposed to be then? I sound like a joker. I think this one's one of what her. Yeah. <laughs> English. I think this one's uh, with the police, honey. <laughs> Detective Ito, Tokyo Metropolitan 
Trampolition. Wait. Trampoli. Trampolition. Leighton? I'm probably saying all oh, fucking wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Tokyo Metro Metropolitan Pleaton, please. M M names. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm reading that all wrong. Please, huh? M. Mm. Name's Kid. Name's Goto. Mm hmm? Is the, is the gun real, too? Why don't you let, why don't you let me uh, buy you a drink? Maybe you can show me your gun, and I can show you mine. <laughs> He's a real fucking creep. I say no. Charming. How, how about we stick to the questions? You seem like a regular. Have you seen this man tonight? Ah, oh, I, I don't know. See these glasses, Detective Otto? Otto? My, my eyesight's not, not so good. <laughs> Just really decided to go Russian there for a second. Why don't you uh, come over here and sit on my knee so I can... Take a closer look. <sighs> Shit. Why do I not even trust this guy? I'll pass. Okay, thank you. Hey, listen, I tried to help you, but if you don't want it, that's fine with me. Or something. What do you want? Fuck. I already told you everything. Wait, can I? You're creeping me out, lady. How many times do I have to repeat? I am busy. Get lost, creep. Okay, at this point, she's the same thing. Okay, um... Mama Chan, she's creeping me out. What's standing around? Wanna sit on my lap? <laughs> How about fucking no? For a detective, you're not very smart. I told you to go away. The hell is wrong with you? Stare deep into your soul, motherfucker. I will get my answers. I will get my partner back. If it means cutting each one of those eyes out. <laughs> okay. Okay, no, we're scaring the children at this point. Wait, okay, uh, is he saying the same stuff? Yeah, okay. Um. I guess we're going back out in the cold. Um, so there's that. The back entrance to the, sh to the shutter store. Like, again, I can't get in. Oh, shit. Um, what's this one? Small bar doesn't seem to have a lot of customers, but there's a good view. Yeah, okay, that's right. Um, this is going here. What's up, bro? I'm Detective Ito of the Tokyo Metropolitan... Metrop... Metropolitan... <laughs> I can't English right! Metropolitan uh, Police Department. Would you mind if I ask a few questions? No problem at all. You can call me Daisyo if you want. I haven't uh, done something wrong, have I? No, nothing like that. I was hoping you could help me, actually. Have you seen have you seen this man? Maybe sometime tonight? Hold on. Mind, mind if I take another peek at that picture? Hmm. Sorry. I don't think I, I don't think I've seen him around. I've seen him at all. Are you positive? Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm definitely I definitely remember. You see, to be honest, business hasn't been so great. So, have, so I haven't seen much of anyone lately, and definitely 
remember, remember a guy like that. Most of you just sit here alone, whipping down the custom the counter all. <laughs> yes, the customer, the counter over and over again. Can't say I thought uh, this was what I'd be doing uh, as the owner of the of a bar in Shinjuki, you know. Not to mention, uh, honest guy like me are are being driven out of business around here. All, of, all the other places, uh, like the hostess club up the street, are cutting corners. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, Desio. I've got, I got one more question, if that's okay. You're, you have a pretty good view of the alley from here. Seen anything unusual out there tonight? Unusual? Now that you mention it. When I went out, went out back before, I thought I heard a ringing sound coming from inside one of the dumpsters. Just kept ringing and ringing. Speaking of rings, I had a pawn. I had a pawn my. I had to pawn my wedding ring to pay this month's. Oh, really? Okay. Pay, pay my month's rent. If my wife hears about that, the next month in the dumpster might. <sighs> Wait. Okay, you're just saying sorry. Okay, so that's where the ring is then. What? No doubt about it, that's Kazuki's phone, alright. But who would have put it in there? So what a stench. Well, pretty normal for a dumpster, I guess. It's locked up tight. It's an industrial strength lock. No way I can force it open. But I bet someone in this building has a key. darkness in the in practically red flashing in the darkness looking all um looking like she want to murder see what now the lights are were flickering so i came over but uh, came over but the only girl i see is you you're all right lady you really you look you're like really pale you look really pale <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine. So, um, this is like private property. So if you don't, so if you don't go, I'm gonna have to go and like talk to the police. Bitch, you're talking to police now. I need access to the dumpster outside this building. Oh yeah, right on, right on. Go for it. The dumpster is locked. Oh right, yeah. You'll need a key to get into it. I got one into I got one though, so no worries. Right, can I have the key? Which key? I've got like a lot of keys. Give me the dumpster key. Oh right, sorry. Yes, sir, er, um, ma'am, er, um, detective, sir, here. So, er, uh, you didn't, like, actually see uh, anyone in here, right? Because I'm just part-time, so... Yeah, don't worry about it, kid. <laughs> I can't 
Siri? <laughs> Siri, piss off! Siri just decided to just come off randomly while I'm just saying this weird, weird stuff. Phew. Phew. Hey, detective, ma'am. I gotta go do, like, other duties, you know? I gotta... <clears throat> Gotta smoke some of that nice weed, man. And 420 and all, you know. It gets me uh really amped up for this sh for this job. I can't really do it on my own with it all flickering like flickering and really sketchy in this place, you know. Over there, away f from the creepy corner. Later. <laughs> okay, we're we're gone. <sighs> oh my god, the shadows! <laughs> Open dumpster. That must be it. A filthy paper bag surrounded by a swarm of flies. The rain is coming from inside. Oh god, there's blood at the bottom. It's a body part. I already know it. I need to fish it out of there and take a closer look. As I draw near, the familiar metallic scent of blood drifts into my nostrils. Written on the bag are two characters I know very well. I am me. What the hell is going on here? I am me. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's a nice uh, sight for, uh, for eyes. <laughs> Embedded in the gruesome red mist. Or mass of as is Kizuki, or Kazuki's phone. As I slid the phone out, I'm overwhelmed by the smell of rotting meat and the buzzing of flies. And probably the maggots all over it. Ugh. Hello? Who is this? Oh, you finally picked up. I knew you would eventually. It's been a long time, Ayami Chan. How do you know my name? Where's uh, Ta uh, uh, Where's Ta uh, Tanaka? Where are you keeping him? Shh, I am Chan. Uh, shh, Tanaka's right here, right here with me in the sewer. Come down here. There's something I want to see. I want you to see. Um, hold on. Let me just make sure. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of starting to regret not, uh, sewer drain. Blood? No, only fresh red paint. Okay. Damn it. The bars won't budge. Red paint is it's on both the inside and outside of the drain. So, so someone around here must know how to get in. Uh, those are, uh, Hello? Okay, I guess he's not around. Maybe you know something! Are you? Nope. Uh, maybe the uh, other bar guy knows something. You know something? Oh, that's a suit. There we go. Sorry to bother you again, Daiso. But do you know anything but about the storm drain at the end of the alley? No worries, detective. Now that you mention it, and you might not believe me, but I swear I saw a fat guy in a suit climbing out of there a few days ago along with some girl. Hmm. He's kind of, kind of infamous around here. Probably at one of 
at the one of the hostess clubs, as usual. Maybe the butterfly club. Hopefully he'll stay here, stay there. Anyway, the storm drains the bad news. If you ask me, I'd still clear of it. Hair. Sorry, this is a little strange, but you haven't seen a girl with red hair lately, right? Red hair? No, lady. Not lately. Guess that doesn't help, though, huh? No, it's alright. Honestly, it's kind of a relief. What about anyone else out of the ordinary? You were listening when I said I saw a guy called Yes. Yes. Um. Shit, I should have asked about the Butterfly Club then. Oh, this playthrough is not going to go well, is it? How do I look up there? No, I want to... Oh! It says Butterfly Club right there! This is by watered down booze exchange for fake smiles and a girl to laugh at your jokes. On a normal night, there's no way I'd look for Kazuki here. I'm trying to say it not exactly normal though. Oh! You! Oh wait. Just tell me one thing. What do you What do you know about the storm storm drain leading to the sewer at the end of the street? Huh? Sewer? What kind of question is that? I don't know anything about some dirty sewer. Ew. You're like gross. Please help me. I don't know what else to do. I'm running out of time. Please, just tell me how to get in the drain. Please. Serious, aren't you? You're just going to sit there and beg like a dog? <sighs> Fine, just get up. You'll s just get up. You'll scare away my the customers. Now, I've got enough problems already. You want to know about the sewer? Uh, I see Go Goto over there is go in there sometimes with the girls. Who knows who, what the hell? That? Who the hell knows what? he goes, gets up to. Probably, uh, just murdering all the girls he just brings in. He tried to get me to go in there with him once. I told him it was scared. I was scared. Uh, told me it was scarce. Uh, sacred. Yes. My brain don't work no way, guys. <laughs> tell me it was sacred. Oh, he told her. Okay, now there. That was supposed to make me feel better. I told him to piss off. The amount of money is getting me down there with him. But the, but those other girls? Well, business isn't always this booming. And since you say I know you won't piss off until I tell you how to get in there, I'll tell you what he told me. Twist the left, leftmost bar right, and the next bar to the left, then, they come then they'll, uh, they'll come loose and you can climb in. Especially for a guy like him who's, um, really fat and ugly. <laughs> Happy now? Now if you could shuffle out, the, out of here before anyone sees you, that would be swell. Oh shoot, I should've asked him directly. I mean, he might know something. Well, oh shit, maybe not. Ugh! Enter. It magically opened. Oh god, there's a handprint.
<laughs> I can just straight up exit. Someone has strung up some cheap lights that have ha haphazardly among the ceiling. Ha haphaz haphazardly? How do you say that? Among the ceiling. Maybe in the maybe in a vain attempt at creating it an illuminous atmosphere. No, I didn't just look like the stars. <laughs> Photo. Ugh! Ugh! No! Ugh! See, ugh! Seeing that probably took a few years off my life. The photo is in is in good shape, and I guess it was taken recently. Ugh! You think? No fucking thank you. I regret. Look at. I need the bleach. I need to bleach my eyes. Oh God! I wonder why the shrine gate's still down here after all this time. Maybe the buildings were too superstitious to destroy it when, destroy it when it, the sewer was built. Huh? A thin, freshly painted line of red paint runs slowly down the wall toward the well. It ain't paint there, uh, Ito. It's a it, it's a gamble, but I could try getting down there barehanded. There's gotta be something around here I could use to climb down more safely, though. The same fresh paint you use on the wall drain outside. Whoever painted it must be close. Um, is there anything else I can... No? Hmm... Let me try to see if I can, uh... Find something that I can use to... Okay. This place creeps me out. No, thank you. Uh, is there anything in the dumpster? Oh. Oh, you Kumi's backup sees. Kumi's backup sees this. A four cynic team won't be far behind. I'll make sure they don't miss it, miss it, so it can be analyzed properly. Okay, the bag is still there. Not like anyone is going to steal something as gruesome as that. I don't know. You just might. And I can't ask him anything. Okay. Oh good, I can't ask any of you either. I was probably supposed to... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to, um, maybe look for something first. Oh, wait a minute. 
Uh, if he's down here often, there's a possibility he has that rope on him tonight. I should take it, this photo to remind him. Oh, or, <sighs> a little bit of blackmail. Like, look at you! Look at you! You disgusting piece of shit. Okay. Oh, creepy motherfucker! I have something for you. I have reason to believe you might be carrying a rope on you. I I need it. Hey, hurry to check the photo. You wanna bet me? F you wanna bet for me too? <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what anything about a rope. Whatever. I don't have. I don't have time for this. Well, why was that earlier? I, I, uh, that kind of thing is it illegal. <laughs> well, well, in your case, it definitely should be. No, it's not. Breaking into a sewer to do it, however, in this picture, it's pretty strong evidence to put you at the scene. Don't you think? Uh, hey, now, say what you want. Say, why don't I train you? I'll give you the uh, that rope, and you can give me the, the picture. I was just about to suggest something similar, ex except I keep the rope and the picture. In exchange, you get this. You get to stay in, out of jail for tonight. Fine, fine. Just take it. You know what? I'm starting to th think you might not be my type. Really? Wasn't even into you either, dipshit. <laughs> no second thank you. But seriously though, who the hell is taking pictures of him? In a f in, with freaking bondage. What the f like? No, thank you. Like, go. You need freaking Jesus, dude. All right, here we go. You rope. The rope is uh, thin, and I know it's been used, but it's all I've got here. To here goes nothing. Yes, yeah, been used, aka used for bondage. Use for a very kinky shite. And I will say that I like, I like the fucking <laughs> detail. <gasps> Jeez, don't do that. Oh, hi, red hair girl. I was seeing you in my dreams that long ago. Oh, at long, at long last, I found. Oh, oh, this is her. At long last, I found Kataki. His hands were bound, and his head was covered in by a dirty, blood-stained sack. I'd gone in all business ready to handle the situation quickly, get everyone home safe, and go back to normal life. My plans went out the window the minute I made out this, his captor's face. It was a face I knew very well. Six months ago, Kamakuri Kazuki and I encountered her in a hostage situation gone wrong. She died. The cold eyes and unhinged smile that, that started, stared at me from the shadows at the end of the tunnel belonged to the girl to a girl six months dead. I stood frozen to the spot, unable to speak as I faced down the impossible. I must be tricked. That's what my subconscious whispered to me over and over to drown out the sound of my beating heart. The girl wasn't surprised to see me. In fact, it seemed that it seemed that my shock and surprise 
worth what she had wanted to see all along. The fact remained that I was alone. I had told Yukimuri where I was, and Kazuki's life was in her hands. It was me and her, a lone detective and a girl straight from a nightmare. Oh god. Oh, this! Oh, shit! Kaka, hang in there. I'll get you out of this. It's out. Is that you? Get out. Run. She's not with you. Shh. Shh. Don't waste time talking to her. Oh, you seen some better days. You won't even speak to me. Not even a hello or a long time to see Ayami-chan. No, you just don't talk to him. Talk to him like I'm not even here. Ayami, I'm sorry. Please save yourself. Quiet. I mean, please be quiet. Tanaka, Tanaka, there, there. It'll be over, all over I can't English right. It'll all be over soon, and then we'll be together in the dark. So don't think about her anymore. Oh, we got a yonder. Oh, God. Why do you look like her? What is this? <laughs> look like who? I, I've looked this way for a long time. What you looking for? Looking for Ayami Chan? The bullet in my head? I won't fall for that. Anyone could have read read about that case. Ayami, don't talk to her. Run for both our sakes. Why are you talking to talking to taking her side all of a sudden? You said you help me stop talking to her. I'm not going anywhere. He, we can both help you. No one needs to get hurt. <laughs> you mean like the last time? In the Kama, uh, Kamakuri? Akura? Again, I cannot... No, Ayami-chan. No more talking. You're going to sit there like a good girl and listen till we're done. I am forget forget what you've seen here. Er, and go say go save yourself. See, Tanaka is so caring, even about a bitch like you. That's why he promised to help me. Soon we soon we won't need you. Shh shh. Do you hear her? The voices? They're back. You remember the little whispers, don't you? What? I knew it. I knew it, it would happen. Now I can take Tanaka with me, and he'll help me find the door. What the fuck are you? I mean, it's good, but what? <laughs> it's like when I was little. There was a, there were police back then too. <laughs> Don't you see, Ayami, Ayami Chan? It's exactly like the last time. It'll work. Tanaka uh, will be with me now. <laughs> crazy, crazy. <clears throat> Everything will be different this time. This time, it will, uh, it will let me go. I won't let you take him from me. Uh, he promised to help me. And now, he, even you can't get in the way. Uh oh. Faced with the impossible, my mind raced it in every direction to come up with a logical explanation. The clothes, the hair, the mannerism were all the same, but I still didn't believe it at first. It was when she mentioned the voices that my defenses began to wear down. Wear down. Give me a sec.
Oh, water. <laughs> there was no way she could have known about that. About that, I left it out in my reports in Kazuki, and I didn't talk about it. I began to accept that the girl I faced really was the gr same girl, and in my nostrils the scent of cherry blossoms intermi 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 intermingled with the st stink of, s of sewer. Okay. I tried to f I tried to focus on Kazuki and keep him talking, but the girl wouldn't let him. He sounded strange under the hood, like he was hurt. I knew I didn't have much time. Uh. Oh shit! I'm running out of time with that shit. How are you here? In Kam uh, Kamakuri, I, I. Whoa! Murdered me? No. No, it wasn't like that. I was trying to... To... Ayami, there's nothing you can do. I know it's confusing, but you have to run. It's your only chance to get out of this. Oh, you. Be a good little boy and hush now. You know, it almost sounds like you feel bad about it. Almost. All I wanted in K Kamakura was the mask, but you were hiding it from me. I'd be I'd been searching for it for so long. I am chan Right yeah, for so long I am chan So many different shrines. Then Tanaka showed showed up. He didn't look at me like yeah, I was some sort of rabid animal. Not like all the others. No, no, no. Not my Tanaka. He wanted to help me. Really, help me. Oh, okay, what the fuck? And I almost believed he would before. Before you showed up. Well, we all know what happened after that. Don't we? Uh, I don't. Uh, um completely in the dark, so... Poof! I woke up in the dark again. <laughs> I can feel... Uh, I can still feel it. It hurt me, Ayari. It hurt so bad. I was this close to changing everything, but you took it away from me. I wondered why someone as nice as Tanaka would be with someone as horrible as you. So I went after him instead. He even gave me the mask. What? You don't believe me? He doesn't care about you, remember? He wants to help me. But the mask wouldn't wake up. Not like it did in Kam er, Kamakura. It won't work it. It won't... Oh, fuck. It won't work if it's not awake. Oh, but Yami, it finally worked. Everyone is, everyone always called me stupid, but look at me now. So wait, what? So wait, is there, a freak, is there like a mask that like can rewaken the dead pretty much? Tanaka and I will be together and I will finally find the door. But for but first, I have to send him there. I'm sorry, Tanaka. It's the only way you can help help me. Mm, fuck. <clears throat> I want you to help me, please. You promise. Okay, this is getting weird. <laughs> and you, Ayami Chan, <laughs> you can watch. Oh, even though none of the, it made sense at the time, the girl truly believed every word she said. When she talked about Katsuki, her eyes lit up as if she really believed he was her savior. The situation was deteriorating and her grip on the knife had it loosened in one bit. I had to keep talking to her. Uh, shit. Oh shit, did I fucking run out of time? Shit. Stop! Wait! Please, you have to stop this! You could 
never have stopped this, Ayami-chan. I only brought you in here to see it. Once again, a smile crept onto her face. She kept on, smi on smiling as she drew the blade across his neck. Oh, great. Oh! Six months earlier. Holy freaking hell, what the hell did I even just... What? <laughs> I just got, uh, Kazuki killed. Um, well, fuck. <laughs> and guess what? We're gonna end up leaving on a cliffhanger, so. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed this first part. Um, definitely gonna continue to more of this. this this is fucking good, I say that. Weird, but good. I like it. It's weird, funny too, because I'm like playing it at like 10 o'clock at night. 10.30 at night, I should say. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy that video. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure there's not a yarn there. Putting a nice yurt out. <laughs>